So I'd like to say this about the Cowboys-Chargers game. Uh, Dallas's defense, and they deserve credit for this, because they in the draft this year, they really went for defense. It does look more athletic, no question. Their secondary looks more athletic, and they did generate a very, very tasty pass rush yesterday. Uh, nine quarterback hits, and that's Justin Herbert, who's hard to get your hands on because he can move. But the Dallas Cowboys didn't really win yesterday. The Chargers lost. And there is no franchise in the National Football League as cursed as the Chargers for the last 15 years. I'm not sure if Dallas won. The Chargers lost. The Chargers had 12 penalties. Two of them took away touchdowns. Those are hard to get touchdowns in the NFL. Average score is like 24 to 20. Two touchdowns taken away. Uh, They had multiple red zone mistakes. They missed a 44-yard field goal. They held Dak to 17 points until the final kick. No touchdowns for Dak. 237 yards and lost at home. Think about this. Dallas does not win low-scoring games. And when I say that, I mean it literally. Dallas was 0 for 17 (laughs) in the last 17 games they had played and scored fewer than 30 points. Over 17. And they scored 20 and beat the Chargers. Yes, there was a terrible call in the grasp. Terrible call. Justin Herbert wasn't really in the grasp. I don't want to hear it. I do not want to hear it. In the end, 12 penalties, self-inflicted. By the way, this morning, the most penalized team in the NFL through two games. Shocker, the Chargers. Yes, this was not a good call. But why were they back there in the first place? Because of a penalty. What the Cowboys proved yesterday, and this is really important, and Dak Prescott, I didn't think played particularly, he, he looked a little off all day, maybe just juxtaposed with Herbert. But there is value in this, and it's something young quarterbacks all weekend, Justin Fields, Joe Burrow, Zach Wilson struggled with all weekend. And Zach, this is where Zach figured it out. Sometimes boring and efficient is good enough. Somebody should tell Zach Wilson that. What the Cowboys did yesterday was boring and efficient. They were 6 for 10 on third down, better than the Chargers. 23 of 27 was Dak. Red zone, 2 for 3. Fewer penalties. That's what they did. I watched young quarterbacks all weekend. College and pro. And sometimes it is okay to live for another play, to throw it out of bounds. And I don't think Dak had his best fastball yesterday. Hey, it, we, we, we've all seen it, right? Like even Brady, Mahomes. There are days, there are halves, they just don't have their fastball. And Dak, I don't think, had his fastball. But he was efficient. He was kind of boring. I mean, listen, there's a lot not to like with Dallas. When your $90 million running back is clearly your second best running back, when after the first quarter you scored, with that offensive talent, six points, when your head coach, again, in a critical situation, completely whiffed with clock management. There's a, there's a lot not to like with Dallas. But Dak was boring, and Dak was efficient, and the Chargers... The Chargers lost that game more than the Cowboys won it.